<laughs> oh yeah? You want to be a model? Yeah. I have a camera on me. Yeah. Oh yeah, let's yeah, go. Yeah, yeah. See? <laughs> See? You are professional, right? Yes, I am. Yeah. yeah. All right, let's review this camera. The Leica M10 Monochrome. Hmm. So yes, you read right. This is a $9,000 camera that can only shoot in black and white. And I think the Leica M10 Monochrome really does take the crown for the most niche camera in all of the M10 lineup. A lot of people might think this is a complete ripoff and a very dumb feature, but honestly, it's really underrated. This camera has been generously lent to me from a fellow subscriber and a new friend of mine. Please follow Patrick Ramos on Instagram. Thank you so much for lending me this beautiful camera, Patrick. Right now, it's super sunny over San Francisco, so of course, I have to take this camera out into the city and do some street photography. Come on! Come on! Woohoo! See ya! Oh yeah, by the way, just a quick plug. I mentioned a while back that I'm gonna be traveling to Iceland in June, 2022. And I wanna invite all of you because there are a few available spots left. So please sign up down below in the link in the description and also in the pinned comment down below. Thank you. Oh. <sighs> Holy moly. Hey, excuse me, can I get a photo of you? Can I get a photo of you in your skateboard? Uh, can you stand right here on the parking sign and then like hold it on your shoulders? Yeah, just like that. Thanks, man. Do you need a model? You can be a model. <laughs> oh, yeah? You want to be a model? Hey, be a model. <laughs> oh, yeah, let's yeah, go. Yeah, yeah. See? See? You are professional, right? Yes, I am. Yeah, because yeah, I brought my camera today because I was telling you I didn't like my camera. Oh, well, I can send you this photo. Yeah, you think you can. Oh, that's beautiful, right there. Right there is good, right there. All right, hold on one second. This is wonderful. Right there. Perfect. And one. What a powerful pose. That's really powerful. She, she was working it. What kind of camera do you use? So this is a, have you ever heard of a Leica before? Yeah, see? Yes, I have. This oh, is yeah? expensive. Best. You want to hold it? Yeah. It's heavy. Oh, oh be wow. careful. Be careful. I know. It's in your hands now. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. What is this for? This is, I'm literally recording all of this right now. Oh my God. <laughs> so like what I do, or sometimes I go out in the field and yeah. then I record myself like from like a first person view. Yeah. So people can see like how I actually photograph things. The Leica M10 Monochrome definitely takes the cake for being the most niche in all the M10 lineup. Leica be making a bunch of variants, like there's literally five different versions of the M10 and all of them are only slightly different. However, this is a really great thing about the same body design, because if you were to ever switch from a film M body to a digital one, let alone between the M10 variants, you'll know how it works and pick it up with ease. I have to pick up a tripod right now, because my old one broke and RKO'd my camera into the ground. Buying tripods is not fun. Hi, how's it going? Um, here to pick up a tripod that I bought. Yeah. Oh, what's up? Hey, man. Oh, yeah, you watch the channel? Yeah, I fucking watch your videos. Oh, thanks, man. You making a few videos? Right now, oh, yup. <laughs> He's got the eye for the GoPro. All right, man, you guys have a good one. So last week, I reviewed this bad boy, the Leica M10D, and this is the super expensive camera that has no LCD screen and a little cute fake winder. Now that you're watching this review, which do you think is more absurd? A $9,000 camera that can only shoot in black and white or an $8,000 camera that has no LCD screen? Or which do you think is closer to the film analog experience? Would be very curious to know what you think. So this camera does have updated internals from the M10D and P and regular M10. It has a 40 megapixel sensor. The image quality is slightly improved. But one thing that unfortunately did not change is that the highlight retention is still garbage. A clear disadvantage about this camera is that you can control the RGB channels in the black and white files because, well, 
it's not collecting any RGB data. In Lightroom and Photoshop, if you ever convert a color photo to monochrome, you can actually control the luminance of the RGB channels to create a little bit of contrast or an effect. So it seems like there's a lot going against this little guy, but one thing that I didn't really see get reviewed on YouTube is the fact that the Leica M10 monochrome actually has night vision. About to go to ISO. Man, 50,000? 16,000? Good gosh, 16,000? Let's go 16,000. The Leica M10 Monochrome's high ISO performance is second to none, so Sony users, eat your heart out. High ISO performance usually caps out at around 32 or 6400 ISO in terms of cleanliness and usability for a lot of color cameras, and the more megapixels that you have in the camera or the sensor, the worse that performance is. These images are the cleanest you'll ever get, especially for a 40 megapixel image. This camera is quite underrated, but the price tag... Man, the price tag does not allow anybody to realize how good it is because it's just too hot to touch. In my review for the M10D, I said that that camera is for people who want to replicate the analog experience of not having the distraction of an LCD screen. The M10 Monochrome clearly has that, and you could do live view, you could play back your images, you could see all of that in review, yada, 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 yada. But the limitation of only shooting in monochrome and black and white, there's something liberating about that because sometimes when you have too many options, right? You have like all the ISO performance, you have all these shooting modes, you have all these effects that you can use. I feel like when you have too many options, you get overloaded with that. And some artists, including myself sometimes, we have this thing called option paralysis or we just can't decide on what to do. So only having the capability of photographing things in monochrome obviously changes your angle towards seeing scenes and whatever i have a whole video on color versus black and white and you could click on the link somewhere in these corners right here but nine thousand dollars to put a limitation on yourself is pretty steep and i don't really know too many people who own this camera besides patrick um not even ben chai owns this camera so again comment down below if you think that the m10 monochrome is the closest thing that you could get to the analog experience or if the m10d is i heard that the epson rd1 is pretty similar to the m10d in terms of concept and i've looked it up it's a really interesting camera so maybe i might get my hands on that in the future thank you guys for watching that's all i have for you guys in today's video make sure you subscribe like the video comment down below on how crazy leica makes their cameras and how crazy they price them and i'll see you guys in the next one peace